Okay, so before I start, I'm going to wait and let some people log on. Um, but tonight I'm going to try to finish up a little bit on the dream catchers um, for the grandbabies. Now, I purchased some stuff tonight, or today at work, and since I brought it home, I found out it's not going to work, and I'll show you what I picked up, but some of the embellishments, I think I'm going to wait because I'm making a trip to Burlington tomorrow, so I will try to get some extra embellishments later. But before I start and show you everything that I've got, I'm going to see who all logs on here. Hi, Danny, Joy, and Izzy. Hi, Samantha. And I'm just going to finish up a little bit on these dream catchers that I did for the grandbabies. So Echoes is the blue one. Joy's is kind of like a little rainbow. Her favorite color is pink. Maddox, his is purple. And then Izzy's is kind of like a greenish teal, maybe even a little minty. But I bought some special beads and just to embellish in there. And I figured I would use their ages as to how many beads I'm going to put in the web. So since Echo's 10, I'll put 10 beads. Joy is 8. She'll have 8. And so on. So I will wait just a little bit longer. I can't wait to look at these though when they're all done. I've already done some prep since I come home. I've been pretty busy. I got off at 7, but I couldn't wait to start working. I almost even forgot to, to do the live because I just got to working on here and I went, oh shoot, it's almost 8 o'clock. I need to get, get this thing turned on. And if you guys ever get a chance to go in the yarn aisle, you should check this out. It, Really soft yarn. Really good for kids. I mean, this craft could even be something that they could do. All that you get is the wreath form. You can get those at the Dollar Tree, or you can get them at Walmart. And just wrap that chunky yarn around there. And if the kids didn't know how to do the dream catcher, all that you have to do is let them wrap the... I use peaches and cream. Uh... You just wrap it however you like, and then that still works too. So it's really forgiving and easy. Even a little kid could do it. I kind of like this pattern though because it kind of looks like a flower. And then I ended up picking up, I'm just going to go ahead and start because some people are already on here. So for Echoes, her favorite color is blue. So I picked up these beads. I thought those are really pretty. She'll love those, I'm sure. So I, oh, it said I was interrupted. I'm back on though, so. Hopefully I don't have many technical difficulties tonight. So I ended up setting out 10 beads that I wanted to use. And these are pretty nifty too. These containers, you get them at Dollar Tree. And they have a magnet on the bottom. Well, I have a bin, like a little tote over here that's metal. And I have all my flowers just stuffed in it. And I just have that magnet stuck on there. So I can keep my beads in this little thing and just stick it on the side. So it's ready for me next, for my next project. So on this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the beads, I'll probably do the 10 just around the center, unless, Echo, since you are watching, if you don't want them in a perfect circle, if you just want them spread out, 
you let me know. But I was also thinking, I have these little Polaroids, and of course I'm going to take different pictures because these are ones for my, my dressing room upstairs. But we're going to take like a little picture of just the two of us and a little uh, clothespin, and we'll be able to put that on there. That way she can have that up in her room. So I won't put the picture in it yet, but I will put that clothespin for her to, to clip a picture of us. Or if she wants to switch it out, she can put a picture of her and her mom or her and her friends. But that way it just lets her do, do that. Hi, Melissa. She wants them spread out. Okay, so I will spread out the 10, the 10 beads. Now, I ended up getting some pom-poms because I thought, oh, that'd be really cute along the bottom. But to me, I'm thinking they are too big. So let me show you. I'm going to stick that there for now. And this is up like this. I ended up getting four of them. See how big those are? And then there's going to be tassels, three tassels dangling from the bottom. So I thought, well, I can always find something else. Because this takes up quite a bit of spot, you know, space on there. I mean, or I could put it at the bottom, make, you know, hang them at the bottom, but they're really heavy too. So, I think I'm just going to say, Echo doesn't think they're too big, so go ahead and use them. Does she want three or four? Because this is three. Or I can do all four. This is for her room, so it's however she's wanting it. If she's wanting the four, they're really big. and But they're really soft, too. <laughs> she likes the pom-poms. Does she want three or four? And I'm just going to hot glue those on there. All four? Okay. So she'll get all four. Ask the other ones if they want the pom-poms too, because I got them as well. Joy's is pink. Izzy's are white. Maddox's are going to be white as well, because I couldn't find any purple. And I ended up getting these teal-looking ones, but it doesn't look right with Izzy's, so I figured white would be better. And then... These are the tassels. I figured one long one in the center and then one shorter on each side. And how I did those was for this middle one, I cut 20 inches on this, this here. Then I just wrapped the yarn six times around my hand. And then one end of that long piece, I put through the top part of those in between. And then I just tied it to fasten all of that on there. And then once I tied that up here, I just put a rubber band around a little bit, maybe half inch, maybe an inch, inch down. So then that leaves the rest of the loops that were on the bottom part of my hand. And I'm just going to cut cut those. And then I noticed they were all different lengths. So what I did was I just straightened it all out and made them all the same length. And then there's your tassel. And I did the same thing on the shorter ones. The shorter ones, I did 16 inches. So 
so they would be and this is pretty much how I did the other one that I made for MJ so it'll have the three dangling from it and I'll do that on all of the kids' uh, dream catchers okay so all the girls want pom-poms I'm sure he'll he'll want pom-poms too since they have them so then all I'm gonna do when I finished up the dream catcher I left a long a long string and I did that so I could put the beads on there so I'm just gonna take my bead and I had to go through all of my needles just to find one that would that would go through the hole of the bead with my thread or my yarn. And all I'm going to do is place it where I want it. And I can always glue it um, if it doesn't stay in place. And I'm just going to go random. Hi, Jessica. Oh, and I'm going to plug this in so I don't forget. And I do have a spare uh, glue gun just in case. And then all I'm doing, I want this to kind of set in between this hole. I don't know if you can see that. So there's a hole right there. And I want that bead to sit there. And then I'm just going to take it and go around one of those spots. And then I can kind of tie it off. And I tell you, I had so much fun on my break. I went to lunch today and I thought, what am I going to do? I could just go and eat. But then I thought, well, I need those beads. So I just went on a scavenger hunt and went looking for beads. So then all I'm going to do is find another spot of where I want my next bead to go. And then all I'm doing is finding a spot. And then once I find out where I want that to go, I'm just wrapping the thread around that, the closest spot. And I'm just kind of making it snug. So is that making any sense? So far I have three beads on there. And from this bead here, I tied it here and then I just took my string down this way. You can't really tell, it just kind of adds to the effect. So 
even though I don't have that hidden, it just makes it look like it's still part of the web. So once it's hanging, you're still not going to know that this was not part of that web when I first strung it. So then I'm just going to go to the next spot. And this bead will move in between this little this spot. I don't want it to stay in one place. I want it to be able to be free because when the dreams come through, they're kind of freed. You know, it traps it traps the bad stuff and it releases the good stuff. Can you guys hear the music okay? I also uh, had Danny help me figure out a way to where I could still play music while I was in here. So I'm using my laptop. And I wasn't sure if it was too loud or if it even comes through at all. I think this bead moved around just a little bit too much, so I went back through that bead. And now I'm just going to kind of lock it in place. There we go. Echo, I think this is going to look kind of like a uh, galaxy. That's one of your favorite things. It's going to look pretty close to a galaxy because it has all the different sparkles. See, it just has beads going wherever. Let's see. I'm trying to decide. Where, the, where I should put them. I'm glad she likes it.
trying to think of where I think I might put a put one up here. I find in the bigger, the bigger holes that I'm going through, I'm going through the bead a second time just to make sure that it's latched on there. So all that I have is two more beads to go. tried spacing them out so my OCD doesn't mess with me, but even if I have more than one together, I think it's still going to look really cute. So, there is all 10 beads, hopefully you can see, these seams, there we go, I think that looks really cute, with them spaced out, then all I'm going to do is tie a knot, to fasten off. And then this little piece here, I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back. 